I love you. I love you way of doing things. I'm sorry for what my forefathers done, but do me and my children have to pay for this? Oh, hello. Do me and my children have to pay? Hang on. To pay this is what Israelites say. Listen, it's like this. Craig, I'm guessing you're, you're a white dude. I can see, right? You're a white dude. It's like this, Craig, right? I'm going to lay it out as best I can. If your father or your great-grandfather stole from my great-grandfather and built an empire based off my great-grandfather's wealth, and then he handed that wealth down to each of his generations, and then the juxtapose that is a generation of my great-grandfather's um, children are poor because of what your great-grandfather did. At some point in time, when those two generations meet, and the great and the great great grandchildren say, "Hey, you know, you're you're only rich because you stole from, or your great grandfather stole from my great grandfather," and you say, "Yeah, you know, I know that actually, I actually know," and then I say, "Well, are you a moral human being?" And you say, "Yeah, I feel like I'm moral. I feel like I'm cool." I'm like, "All right, cool. So, what are you now doing to rectify that situation? Because remember, the stuff that you got, you only got it because your great grandfather stole in the first place." And I'm only in the position that I'm in because my great grandfather's great grandfather stuff was stolen. So, what are you saying? And and then, then is when I realise what kind of person you are. For me, you know, because at this point in time, the the the, the uh, subject of race, racism reparations, all that kind of stuff, is cool, and a lot of people speak a good game, but when I ask very specific questions, which I always do, I kind of see what's really inside your heart and really inside your head, do you know what I'm saying, I really want to see what you're saying, I really want to see how you really do feel, because, because you're so used to that position of power, maybe, yeah, hang on, you said, I know way, I know a bit, I'm going to move forward, warning, hang on, all into all my people that white supremacist system don't want my children growing up in. Um, what empire did white people steal? There was not even Seaworth, Seaworth boat in Africa at them times. Never mind an empire. Oh, the, the, the trolls are in, guys. <laughs> the trolls are about. All right, mate. Stuart Little. Um, so, yeah, that's when I kind of see what kind of person you are, man. Like, sounds, real thing, says so Sarah Garvey. That sounds like it leads to an argument of racism, blaming white people, expecting reparation from them for the actions of a few. Real things. It's like this. Like I said, you're either about you're either you're either a moral person, right, or you're not. You're either a moral person. Don't say sorry because what happens is, oh yeah, I'm sorry for what my ancestors did, but I ain't giving your shit back though. And it's like, all right then, mate. Well, you're not really that sorry, are you? Because if I stole your wallet and I said I'm sorry, I'm just going to give you some money from that wallet or give your wallet or give you something if I'm really sorry. But don't tell me, oh, yeah, you're blaming us. Bro, the bottom line is, and I, I'm saying, you can't blame me for the system that I was born into, just like I can't blame you for the system that you were born into. But it just so happens that the system that we were both born into is that, that a system and people smoke you weed no i don't smoke weed um the it just so happens that the system that we're born into yeah is like this and so we're going to have these disputes it's just i never made it you never made it but it is what it is it's here and so we're trying to rectify the system that has been created but what i don't like is a denial of people and and it's like oh well you know what well, i'm not doing it because my forefathers did it and i don't care because that you can't put that on me and it's like, all right cool so when 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 the children or the great great grandchildren that are now disenfranchised because of that yeah because if you look at if you want to look at the black panther movie and you want to look at what quote unquote africa could have been like yeah if it wasn't colonized you can see wakanda i know you know it, the, 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 the vibranium came from the space and all that and that's the you know the odd part but I'm just saying in general there's a book called How the West Underdeveloped Africa read that book as a matter of fact 